G'day everyone and welcome to a clear night here in South Australia where we're going to be doing some astrophotography and as we can see we have a few big weapons out tonight so I've got my good old faithful twin rasses and all those that uh, you know follow my channel um, would know about the story behind it and the journey and everything else uh, to do with my twins um, so yeah I'm very proud of, uh, of what I've built up here and, uh, and I hope 2023 will bring some fantastic images even more, as well as my projects and all that. But on my right, we have the CQ350 um, by Skywatcher. It's a relatively new mount with the uh, Skywatcher uh, Sprit 150ED. And on the back of that, I've got my Nikon Z7 Astro modded. And I'm going to be using the uh, ASI Air with it. So... What targets we're going to be imaging tonight? I'm not sure. I think we're just going to have a bit of fun tonight. Um, I probably wouldn't be surprised if I shoot Orion with this. Um, and maybe the Seven Sisters if I can get it above <laughs> the tree line over there. Um, the Seven Sisters sort of sit quite, uh, quite low. Uh, so uh, I know Orion will rise up um, fairly high. Uh, so we might uh, we do that. I think we have to, don't we? I mean, it's a bit of a new toy, and it just makes sense, doesn't it, to shoot Orion with a, a Spruik 150 ED? We'll see. But over here on my left, we have the twins. Now, if a lot of these guys, a lot of these guys may know that I like to shoot um, in zero gain mode to increase the dynamic range and the full web, full well depth of um, uh, the cameras as much as possible. So I'm not overexposing those stars because f2 imaging can be very challenging, and when you start overexposing those stars, all of a sudden you're going to have these just white stars without any colour um, when you're trying to uh, to capture some of that uh, fainter. Um, nebulosity uh, that's that's out there so uh, what we're going to be doing is something a little bit different um, we're going to be switching to unity gain and that reduces my full well depth by a lot um, I think we're probably somewhere between uh, 50 50,000 with the 294 um, don't quote me on that but uh, somewhere like as an example around 50,000 we're going to probably drop to about 13,000 14,000 um, so our exposures are going to have to be really quick. Uh, but with that, we probably won't need as many, maybe. We're going to have a bit of a play around and see how we go. Um, I think a really good target to play around with is the Red Horsehead Nebula. And again, because the Rasses are slightly over to the left a bit, um, normally they'd be probably over here. Um, I've got limited uh, seeing so I think the Red Horse at Nebula will be a, a good um, target to crank up the Unity gain um, and, uh, and have a bit of a play there. So tonight is just about having a play, shooting some Astro underneath a clear sky. Well, let's just wait for it to get a bit darker and get imaging. <laughs> <laughs> 